struggling to kind of keep up with this because they're not really sure which direction to go and, and, and what the impact is going to be have, have on, on we kind of adopt the different policies related to kind of the implementation of this. Um, we saw that with Michigan, the medical marijuana, where they actually kind of the state um, kind of put a hold on med uh, um, medical marijuana dispensaries and then they kind of stopped um, allowing dispensaries moving forward and, until they could kind of get some policies in place. But I, I don't think there's, we're really at a place where things are kind of set and we have a good sense of the direction that w what we should be doing. I do think we need to kind of pay attention to some of these issues, you know, in terms of like just outlet density is going to be one issue, but also just, you know, what is the amount of marijuana people can possess. But we also still have this kind of discrepancy with the federal law. And, you know, are we going to ever take care of that? Or, you know, are we just going to kind of have that policy on the books um, but ignore it? Um, all of these state policies, you know, are, um, don't kind of mesh with the, the federal laws on this topic. Thank you. Um, if it becomes legal for people who are 21 or older, then it would, like, increase the use of, like, adolescents because I think they all eventually have to be able to do it like, anyway, like, kind of, like, alcohol is now. So I, I think a lot of folks think just in, with greater availability, even if you have to be 21 to buy it, you know, the idea that um, teens do get people to buy them alcohol when they're underage, so it may be the same thing where you, you get someone to go buy you marijuana in those contexts. Um, there, there has been some work too, just like in monitoring the future, I think they started asking teens if they've ever used um, marijuana that was obtained with a medical marijuana card. Um, for the most, I think most teens haven't, um, but we are seeing some trends and I think um, in terms of the increased use, um, and again, that concern really is that if we have greater availability, we have lower kind of perception of risk, we're probably going to see more continued use in the future. Does a license give the dispensary the ability to grow it, or is there some kind of distribution center where they buy it? Um, I, I'm not an expert in it. Right now, it varies state to state um, because it's um, it's you know it's, it's a, these are state policies, but it really is going to depend on the particular community. There has been a, a pretty large increase, though, um, in terms of the number of people that are growing, but also kind of selling. And I think a lot of the, the organizations they are doing both, so they're they're you know growing their own product but also selling it. Okay, so the license gives you that. It, um, and I think it may depend on state to states. So you may need separate licenses for okay. each. Okay. Yeah, okay. It just depends. On do you anticipate changes in big corporations that currently are testing people for marijuana and firing people? And I mean, I know they're they're yeah. they're actually doing it with cigarettes in some places too. So maybe the legalization will have something to do with that. Uh, right now, it, you know, you can still get most employers can still fire you for um, a positive marijuana test, and so it, it doesn't matter. I, I know a number of the lawsuits where people have had like licenses for medical marijuana that the companies didn't care. Mm -hmm. So I, I think we, we may see that in just the fact that marijuana stays in your system a little longer. Um, that, is, that could be one of the potential consequences people do kind of need to kind of think about. And so it may have an impact, particularly on, on kind of certain jobs, certain professions where they are more likely to be um, tested for uh, have a urine drug test as part of their, their employment more consistently. We don't always see a, a lot of urine tests in kind of the white collar jobs, but we um, after people are hired, so we may see you know maybe changes in that. That might be something that comes up, but it, it could be possible that those kind of testing policies would have a, a larger impact. 